Good morning, folks. A bit of a disagreement here to start. That filament we showed yesterday that I said was not going to be a space weather issue? Actually, both NASA and NOAA originally had a moderate impact expected on their charts. NOAA has now adjusted to show a negligible space weather event. The coronal hole will be the main actor this weekend. Coming to spaceweathernews.com, we find another calm day on our star. The sunspots are showing signs of the jitters, but have held back thus far. And the same goes for the large filament running across the north there. If you'll look to the right side corona, you'll see the ripple of a far side CME, another blast that dared not come Earth's way and waited until it turned. Coming to the solar flaring, we find the X-ray flux getting into C-class range, but that's about it. And that's not much. Two big sunspots are departing the disk and their replacement is small, multi-umbral beta grouping turning in now. Solar wind and geomagnetism are calming further as well. Solar wind intensification from a coronal hole is expected tonight or tomorrow. Most interesting quakes of the day stuck to the Americas and eastward with unusual location rumbles outshining five pointers in usual locations. Folks, we've mentioned this a couple times and a lot on the website. Every scientist who studies El Nino is beginning to see the signs that his reign is ending now. Writing's on the wall. You can see that here as well, but the frosty area under the South Atlantic anomaly really steals one's attention. That's next to Brazil. Way more interesting, and I wonder how much cosmic rays are affecting that area. Speaking of the Atlantic... Hurricane Alex is dissipating and shot way, way north now, but NASA was able to run Imerg over it as well to give us a peek inside. Folks, these are from the Weather Channel, and those are some really cold highs and even colder lows and life-threatening conditions set for the early hours of Sunday morning. Anyone who loses power or means of heating will be at significant risk, and the winds will be sustained for about eight hours. I've made it so you can watch the bright white freeze come down with the high pressure system there. I wonder if anyone out there is getting as excited as I am. Two weeks from observing the frontier in Phoenix, Arizona. Head on over to spaceweathernews.com slash OTF for details and to pick up your tickets for the event. Website members at suspiciousobservers.org. We had a new deeper look post for you guys yesterday, but more importantly, we've got fly on the wall today. Our weekly podcast will be posted around lunchtime. Let's do that pressure run for Europe and Australia, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.